This year's Women's History Month theme from the National Women in History Alliance was celebrating women who tell our stories. In their honor, we invited women from across Parametric to share their stories and offer their perspectives on working in the finance industry. It's maybe more of an internal one, which is really just kind of feeling like an outsider. I think for any woman in a male-dominated industry, it's common to feel this way, um, especially if you don't necessarily look and act the part of somebody that might traditionally work in finance or work for an asset manager. I think a lot of it, and, and I would suspect many young women and women of all sort of experience levels carry with them, it's more of an internal block of, should I be in this room? Am I prepared? How much do I prep for every meeting I go into? Or maybe a man doesn't do the same things. I struggle with myself internally, especially when I didn't realize I could be more than what I my true potential was. I am a woman, a mom of three kids, and an immigrant. I used to think these made me less qualified for some opportunities and allowed them to limit my capability. When I first started to speak to clients, uh, to advisors, it was feeling that I had to work twice as hard as male counterparts uh, to really prove myself as the expert in the space. I've had plenty of moments of feeling out of place outside the boys club, whether that was having very few women to look up to in leadership positions or the assumption made that I wouldn't want to go on a golf outing or a sporting event or out to drinks after work. Being a sort of mentor figure to junior women within our firm, even across the industry outside of our firm, and it's been really incredible to be able to be a source of inspiration to say, hey, I did this. Uh, it wasn't easy, but here's what I did. Here's what I overcame. Here's what I would suggest. And to be able to really give that knowledge to other junior women and, and have them feel inspired. Being recognized as a winner for the Commitment to Community Award in 2020 and then being recognized as a finalist last year for the Commitment to Excellence in 2022. Being recognized by your colleagues for the contributions that you've made to the firm is something that just felt so special. A few years ago when I was a member of the team that helped launch our institutional portal, it was um, managing a lot of timelines and expectations and helping improve workflows for various teams while also enhancing the client experience. Getting to watch the women that work with me gain recognition and responsibility and confidence and just grow in their careers more. Never be afraid to ask for what it is you want, whether that is balance, salary negotiations, time, hours, but always be ready to hear no. And remember no is a starting point to ask a follow-up of how do you get to yes. And I interned at a asset management firm in Boston all three summers during college and was able to learn kind of what that looked like. And I felt like during that experience, I met other people like me that didn't have obvious business degrees and everyone took all different paths to get to where they were. And that was kind of the, one of the first times I realized that you don't have to have this like perfect background to get to where you may want to go. Don't be afraid to apply for positions or say yes to opportunities that you maybe don't feel 100% qualified for, or that might be out of your field of, of expertise or outside of your, your degree, your college degree. Um, you will learn the necessary skills on the job. You don't need to be afraid to be yourself. I think, you know, especially now there's less emphasis on sort of fitting into a box that you need to look a certain way, act a certain way, have a certain background to work in this field. And that's just really not the case. And in fact, it's really clear to everyone, I think at Parametric, that having diversity in backgrounds and opinions and cultures makes us better. But I think we collectively as an industry 
could do well to remember and talk more about the fact that we're in the business for clients. These are investors who have entrusted us to grow their assets, to fund their hopes and dreams. Instead of us sitting around waiting for women to come to us and ask us questions, we need to go to them and tell them, I'm excited that you're working at Parametric. Where do you want to go and how can I help you? And Parametric specifically, I think given a leader that in the investment space has done a great job of positioning themselves uh, around focusing around not only being a top performing firm, but being inclusive about focusing on, on diversity and inclusion, this is something where we can as a firm position ourselves to continue to educate again very early on through various stages from high school to college to have them learn about our firm. With the hybrid work and flexible um, working patterns, we do need to continue to support our women by uh, working on career growth opportunities and building out our connection and allyship pillars and having supportive reentry paths for women after they come back from parental leave or longer career breaks would be a great enhancement as well. We can encourage more young girls into the major related to math and applied mathematics. We can educate high school students about possible career in finance. We can give more internship opportunity and career mentorship to female college students. We can choose a diverse hiring and interviewing panel for opening job. It's also important for us to be open about the challenges. I think the success that we've seen um, it was so special participating in the Parametric Women's Mentoring Circles. And I think about just that concept, realizing that it was just for all of us internally at Parametric, but just like the big concepts that came from that format. The more women they see that have progressed in their careers, the more tangible it feels as an option. So I do think that's where representation, DE&I efforts with concrete results really do make a difference. Like women want to be here. They want to participate in this and they need to have those opportunities and options to ask the questions, to ask for more responsibilities. And I think it's on us as managers to really open up that for them. Thank you to all the women who continue to tell their stories. 